Hey everyone, it's Jordan and Barry here, better known as the Brownstone Boys. We just finished install at our latest project, and believe it or not, we are not inside of Brownstone today. We just finished designing two model showrooms here at TF Cornerstone's latest Brooklyn high-rise apartment building known as 595 Dean Street. So these are rental units, and we took this project on because we wanted to show you how you could transform your rental space into something that truly reflects your style. So what we did is we added some New York City charm and some drama into these two spaces, and they were definitely blank slates before we started. When TF Cornerstone asked us to design two showroom models, we jumped on this opportunity. Usually our projects are nine months to a year and a half, but with this, we had three days to install, <laughs> and we can't wait to show you these spaces. So, they're still working on construction here, but we're finished and our showrooms are done, so we're gonna take you upstairs and give you a look at what we did. Let's set up the elevator. So welcome to the one bedroom. We wanted to start here because this design is quintessential us. It's historical charm meets modern design. Come on inside. So this one bedroom apartment is about 600 square feet. So it's not a bad size for a one bedroom apartment. A nice big roomy living room to here. But really when you walked into this place, it was a blank slate. It was a white box. There wasn't a lot of charm happening, not a lot of character. So just kind of your standard basic rental apartment. And we wanted to bring in some character and some charm. And usually we were working in historical buildings and we're bringing in that modern feel. In this place, it was the opposite. We had a beautiful, modern, sleek space and we wanted to bring in that New York City charm. Yeah, when we first walked in, we saw these gorgeous floor to ceiling windows. And we knew that was gonna be the base to our design. We had to let this natural light flow through the entire apartment. So there were some creative ways that we allowed that to happen. We wanna start with the wall moldings because that is such an easy DIY thing that anyone can do and will really elevate any space. So the wall moldings are really a core element to this design. That is where we brought in that charm. We gave it the feeling of a space that has that depth and that character. And it's actually really easy to do. So we used a very small profile molding. This is just something we got from Home Depot. It was very inexpensive. Um, it's also, since it's so small, it's very easy to cut. So you don't need power tools. You can just use a little miter box. We planned everything out. We planned our boxes of our picture frame all around the room. We cut it on a 45. We nailed it into place with a nail gun and then we painted it. It was a pretty simple DIY. Anyone can do it. It is renter friendly. Of course you'll want to check with your landlord, but uh, it's you can easily undo it. Yeah, and we did a very simple design throughout. We even brought it into the entryway for its own little separate moment. They definitely have more intricate wall molding designs that you can look into if this is something that you want to tackle. But with three days of install with all furnitures, we needed something very simple. And we think that with this kind of heightened um, molding here, it really elevated the space. Wall colors, that was really important for us too. This was a stark white room when we first walked in and we really wanted to warm the space. So we found the perfect neutral tone, and it, it is a color from Claire Paint. It's called Basin. Um, it's a really beautiful, warm, taupey color. I think it reflects off the white curtains now perfectly, and it really warmed up this entire space. We brought it down to the baseboard, and we also brought the color paint all the way up into the ceilings so that the room was just one altogether. It is neutral upon neutral upon neutral in this space. Totally. We have a lot of light coming in, a lot of natural light, and we really wanted to play on those neutral tones. And speaking of light, when we walked in here, basic light fixtures <laughs> everywhere. You might have that problem if you live in a rental. The light fixtures usually aren't the most well-chosen. <laughs> yeah. We, we wanted to change that here. You don't have to go crazy. It's an easy thing to do. You can always change a light fixture and you can have someone come in and do it for you. It can be very easily undone when you when you move out, put the other fixture right back in. And we have pretty inexpensive fixtures here as well. Very inexpensive. We overnighted them and we elevated the Amazon globes, these two in the living room here, by adding ceiling medallions. 
something that transformed the space in its entirety. And again, it brought in some of that historical tone that we love so much because they really don't build things the way they used to. And anytime you can bring it into a space, we always think it accentuates and really highlights that space. But these ceiling medallions, we just add a, a little adhesive and then put them up on the ceiling. Again, you wanna check with your landlord, make sure it's something you can do, but they easily come off and you can paint right over them if you ever wanna change them out again. Yeah, if you're having trouble figuring out how to place a couch in your space, a lot of people do. Now, what wall will it go on? And th this, this room is almost, it's too big to have a couch against the wall because the other side of the wall is way too far away. And so having the, the, the seating area here in the center and using a curved couch, I think was key. And so if you're having trouble configuring your space with a straight couch or a, an L-shaped couch, look for curved couches. There's lots of them on the market now and it really makes this space cohesive. Yeah. one more room to show you and it is the bedroom i love this space Same. it is so nice and cozy we have a little bit of a darker uh, color on the wall this is dead salmon from farum ball that is a pink color it, name. Is, a, it is a pink <laughs> color name and it is beautiful um, but it makes this space so warm and cozy and we have the pops of the shiny brass uh, gold colors as well. I love this rug. Um, it is, it's beautiful as well. The, we have the, this green color that goes great with the wall color. And it's just so nice and warm and cozy in here. And it just makes me wanna be in this space. Yeah. And then just again, to reflect the natural light, these stunning mirrors from Bauer, which we're obsessed with. And you might see these in another one of our projects because <laughs> I love them so much that I definitely wanna use them somewhere else. But I just think this room is really special. It's cozy, yeah. it's warm, and it feels like its own sanctuary, which a bedroom should always feel like. And now for something completely opposite, let's go check out the studio apartment. So the lay of the land here is when you first walk in, you walk into this really cute little cozy kitchen. But what we wanted to do is draw your eye back into the main space here. And this is a smaller space and it doesn't have nearly as many windows as the other space that we did. And a lot of people might think that because of that, you shouldn't do a dark color on the walls, but we don't think that that's the case. And we went pretty dark and moody in this space. Yeah, what inspired the design of the studio apartment was actually a playlist we created on Spotify. Barry and I put together some of our favorite tunes and really created a tone for the room. And that was definitely a moody, dark vibe. And then when we saw this space, it was quite small. So we wanted to play into that and we landed on this beautiful dark green color, but we wanted to add texture to that color. So we did a lot of research and we knew Venetian plaster wasn't too renter friendly, which we landed on Lime Wash. Lime Wash is a beautiful DIY option you can do that adds a lot of texture to your walls. It's also really fun. It's a very yeah. fun process. It was actually the first time that we did it um, ourselves. It's paint time. Our first time lime washing walls and we're really, really excited because it's something that we've been wanting to do for quite some time. And it was fun to learn how to do it. It's really easy to do. It's very forgiving and, it, and you can really do kind of whatever you want with it and make it your own. Um, and so we chose this color. This is Dark Side by Portola Paints is the, the, the brand that we use and that's the color. And it's just a really gorgeous tone of color. And, and when you do a lime wash, it gives the, wall, the walls this very kind of chalky, almost suede light look and that kind of texture really just makes this space so gorgeous. And one of the challenges that we had is where do we start? Where do the white walls, where do they, do we bring it into the kitchen area? And we knew that was kind of going to be overbearing. So what we decided to do was add a picture rail molding at the top here, um, halfway through the column. That kind of gave us our level zone and our endpoint of the lime wash paint. So another big feature of this space is right over this way, it is this column. So when we saw that this space had this structural column, we were really excited about it and we wanted to highlight it. We didn't want it to blend into the background and paint it the same color as the walls. And we actually originally wanted to tile it, but <laughs> <They> <laughs> that, <said no. laughs> that isn't exactly 
a renter friendly project, you know, you probably aren't supposed to put tile on the walls. So we had to do something that was a little bit less invasive, but we knew the look and the feel that we wanted. We really wanted this dramatic kind of glossy look, um, this tile look. And what we ended up using is something really simple, really lo-fi and really inexpensive. It it's is peel, peel and, and stick, stick tile. tile. <laughs> it's crazy. It is peel and stick tile. And at first we were really hesitant because we weren't sure how it's going to look. It's unbelievable how easy this is to install. It really is just a sticker. It took us about half hour to install. It was actually a lot of fun to do. And it really elevated this entire column and it really works beautifully with the lime wash paint. Yeah, and you'll see throughout this space, the color tones in the room. We have the gorgeous uh, lime wash and this sagey green, chalky green color. And we have pops of black throughout the space. So we wanted to create that moody vibe. So you'll see the black on the column. You'll see it in this gorgeous mirror. You'll see it in some of the light fixtures and some of the other details around the space. And we added curtains here to kind of bring your attention upward here on this tall uh, Florida uh, ceiling window here. And it just kind of draws your eye up. We put them past the lime wash paint that picture rail molding the furniture here is some of my favorite and we added these really warm tones against the green lime wash paint really love this little seating area um, as we mentioned earlier in the one bedroom apartment changing light drastically changes a space and we found these really beautiful fixtures so we took out kind of those uh, fixtures that were in the space already before we came and just did a simple swap out and lighting really transformed the space. So it's really important in the studio apartment to create these zones. You know, you, you're dealing with kind of one big open space here uh, that you need to use for multiple purposes. And if you create different zones for the space, you get the feeling of more space. And so totally. everyone that's walked into this room since we had all the furniture in has commented on how much bigger it feels really? now that it's filled with furniture, which yeah. you wouldn't think would be the case. Something that we did here that's really special, one of a kind, is we added this oversized picture frame here. And this is just creating molding. What we did is we found molding pieces at Home Depot and we nailed gun them in so it's easy to remove here. And we did this um, beautiful art install with peel and stick wallpaper. So it's super easy to install, super easy to remove. If in maybe in a month or two you get sick of that pattern, you can easily swap it out. And this kind of just accentuates the bed area here and gives you something to look at on the walls. I love it. It was a really fun project to do. We have the, the outer frames, a really simple casing from Home Depot. We spray painted it gold. Then we painted black around that. We have another little small piece of trim. It's actually the same trim we used in the other apartment. We reused it here and painted it black around the wallpaper. And it, I mean, it's like the feature in the room. It really, it really draws your attention. Definitely. The bed is from Joybird over here. And then just kind of reflect the light from the window. We added a beautiful arch mirror over here from Urban Outfitters. And I just love these kind of subtle hints of wood tones in the space as well against the black and that dark side lime wash from Portola Paints. And then moving in front here, we of course wanted to start with the showpiece, this area. But walking in the space, you land in the kitchen area. It draws your attention inward. So that light fixture there, we want it front and center to draw your um, eyes up. We had a little bit of extra peel and stick <laughs> wallpaper, so we made a little art moment over here. And there we have 400 square feet. Hope you enjoyed it. So we hope you love the way we transform these spaces. We had so much fun doing it and we are thrilled with the way it turned out. A huge thank you to Carrie, Brian, and Aaron on our team. With three days of install, it was truly a team bonding experience. And also a special shout out to Zoe and Raluca at the Tea of Cornerstone team. So the best part is you can come here and see these spaces live and in person at 595 Dean. The showroom is gonna be open to the public. We're gonna also be here hosting events. So the best way to stay in touch is to head over to our Instagram, at Brownstone Boys. Give us a follow and we'll keep you updated. Make sure you share this video with a friend, give us a like, and we'll definitely see you on the next house tour. Bye everyone.